So Connor Ben is busted for Clomid, Clomiphene citrate. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind his before and after transformation was assisted with anabolic and antigenic steroids. That's my opinion. Is what it is, it's professional sport. You're paid to win. 157-pound fighter, Natty, has no chance against his twin or her twin or they twin or whatever it is does these days at 157 pounds. All right, if you're natty or not, man, you're getting smashed. It's all things equal, all things equal. Now, an athlete, a boxer in ketosis on steroids will get smashed by a boxer who's carved up doing my protocol who's full natty, same weight. No, no chance about that. When you're in ketosis, your, your power's pff, gone, you're done, you're finished. That's why. You got Dana White saying he's doing keto diet and stuff. It's like no, no, you, no UFC fighters fighting in the ring in ketosis. So you, your muscle glycogen is it's pointless anyway. So yeah, that's just how it is, man. And people say, no, he doesn't look big. He's still skinny, 160 pounds. My mum's 160 pounds. Yeah, your mum's fat. Like you know, it's like, like the weight doesn't matter. It's the look. It's the before and after transformation. That is how we indicate 100%, yep, that's done with steroids, anabolic steroids. People say, well, but can't you just like, just charge up and eat some protein and like. <laughs> These are the same guys who go to the strip club and think the stripper likes them. <laughs> She's gonna give me a lap dance and I'm just gonna help her pay the rent. She really likes me though. It's like this, there's so many suckers out there, man. And that's why the, the fitness industry is a trillion dollar industry now. So many suckers just paying these fake natties money for these programs and protocols. It's just, it's absolutely laughable. But that's the deal. There's no way he did that transformation natty. Even his coach, one of his S and, S and C strength and conditioning coaches, he's on the juice. It's like Dana White's on the fucking juice. Like everyone's on the fucking juice, like Nate Ziaz says. I've been saying it for the last 20 years. Cycling, swimming, running, all the top athletes. If you ain't doping, you ain't coping. All right? If you won't take it, you won't make it. Just how it is. I'm not saying you should do it. I'm saying this is the situation. Just like I'm here in Thailand, standing on a road right now, okay? Top of a mountain here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's October 9th or something, okay? 2022. It's just how, these are the facts. Okay, you can disagree with me, but you'll still be wrong. Everyone's on rights at that level. All sports. Money equals drugs.